Well, hello there everyone and welcome back to Zomboland Gaming. I am Zombo Skate and we're back for episode number two of Odd Sparks and Automation Adventure. I am digging this game. So in between the last episode and this episode, it's still the same damn day. I just wanted to continue playing this game. So you're getting a double dose. Uh, I did go off and gather a few things. And in my gathering, I came across a couple of bee elephant car uh, carapaces. And when I did, look what I got. Etheric clumps. So this was one of the things we needed for the upgrade at the uh, village monument. Also, I have started to put down some sheds, and I've started to uh, gather up some stuff and things and uh, placing them in our sheds, so that way we can, uh, you know, actually start having some resources on hand instead of uh, having to go off and gather a whole bunch in between parts. I mean, look at this, and I think what we needed, 80 of these, right? Yeah, 80 sawn timber. Uh, let me see, and then we have the bee carapaces, and that's just a spare one. Uh, these sheds take uh, 10 of the sawn timber to make, and eventually we'll get signs, and I'll be able to put a sign out in front of it, so that way I know what's in each shed, uh, other than just trying to memorize. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at our quests. So let's see. Uh, we need to build two loggers, build two saw benches, deliver sawn timber. Uh, so... We had already had that done, essentially. As soon as I came out into the overworld, it was like, hey, you already did this. Uh, so we got that going for us. We just need to deliver the sawn timber now. And then let me see. Uh, we can't do that. Wood panels, wood panels, wood panels. All right, off to the town. Okay, and it looks like we need to give this to the woodsman. So we need, what, 80 sawn timber, 20, 40, 60, 80, all right. Complete. You describe your findings as the woodsman appraises the sawn timber. He nods slowly, his mind connecting dots on the finer details of the spark size machines. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. This makes it a lot easier. You can just create multiple settings for everything. Think of it like a recipe. And if you need to create new settings in the saw bench, all you need to do is... We, we basically showed in the last episode. We just clicked the little three-tier thing, the little three-line thing, and then we can change recipes. And so now we're going to be able to make wooden panels. Woot, woot, let's go. All right, um, and that gives us the wooden panels, which takes two sawn timber. So, all right, so now we need to make a crap ton of wooden panels. We've gotten everything else ready to go. Uh, but first, we've got it on us. Let's go put it into the village monument and get some tech going. Uh, which one was it? Right here. A theoretic clump. He unlocks an additional slot in the active sparks bar. Oh, that's going to be great. You know what that means? Is now we'll be able to get a second slot here. Yeah, right there. And we'll be able to have 20 of these little spark dudes walking around with us. We're going to be able to gather like nobody's business. All right, so now the big thing here is I need to create the next step in our automation to make the wood panels. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add right on to this logger little spot right here. And I'm just going to, I want to add two more uh, of these sawmills to make just regular sawed timber. Uh, which actually, you know what? We've already got that part made. I'm just going to basically make this one more time, but then add another one here to make the uh, wooden panels. So I'm going to get crafted on some little setup, and then I'll show you what we have done afterwards. All right, so we have something set up, and... Uh, okay, you're going to see this looks a little bit weird because I have this logger, like, farther away. But currently, this tree is kind of in the way. This slope is in the way. This tree is in the way. And then the other tree... Uh, the other giant tree is in the way, so I really couldn't use this one yet. As soon as we can get rid of some of these uh, trees, uh, we'll be able to use this one. But I wanted to make sure that we had more than enough wood coming out. So I added a whole bunch of these little uh, uh, spoony sparks uh, over here, or stumpy sparks over here, to gather wood. Uh, because they have a long trek to have to go, as they're having to make a roundabout here. Um... And this is actually kind of awkward because they're grabbing more wood from here than this is even grabbing wood here. We could actually, you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Let's just put a whole bunch more of those dudes down so they can guarantee getting wood. Uh, so we have our original setup here with the two saw benches just making the, uh, the t uh, timber, the sawed timber, which, oh my goodness, hell yeah, look at that. But then what we have going on over here, and let's rotate the camera around. We've got four more saw benches making just the sawn timber because as we saw, the recipe for the wood panels is two sawn timber, 
for one wood panel. So I've got basically two saw benches to make two saw and timber, which will then go into here. And I've got two little dudes so they can grab two of them at a time to make the wood panels. And you're gonna notice I don't have this connected. I basically just got these two outputs going to here, these two outputs going into here, just so that way we can kind of try and be a little efficient with the amount of items we have going in. And then I've just got the two little dudes here grabbing these and look at that, four to go. The only problem is, is this thing is running so darn fast. You know what, maybe what we'll do is we'll take one guy out of each of that so it doesn't run as efficient. And then maybe they'll get a chance to start bypassing this. Oh my goodness, yeah, look at that. Uh, see, that's at 20. This is the problem with this. We don't have splitters yet. Once we get splitters, we'll be able to like take these dudes and be like, nope, half of you go this way, half of you go that way. So it's very inefficient for the time being. What I should probably do is I should probably take this whole setup for the time being and just stick it over here on its own. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but now you've seen the setup, so you see what it's doing. Uh, you know, we're gonna make the wooden panels. So that is the basic, very basic setup. And as far as the quest goes, we need 160 sawn timber, 80 wooden panels, on top of uh, another 40, so that's 120 wooden panels. And then we need another 20, so it's 140 wooden panels and 200 sawn timber. And then we also need to go make a crafty spark, which the crafty spark was two stumpy sparks and one wood panel to make a crafty spark. So I'm gonna get all of that accomplished and then we'll be back. Oh boy, that was a hell of a lot of crafting. So yes, I ended up moving the whole assembly over here uh, and it's making it a whole lot better. And wow, what a full inventory that is. Good grief. Uh, I also made a few more of the crafty guys. So I thought it was two to one, but it's actually two stumpy sparks and two wood panels to make one of them. Uh, so we got that going for us. And then uh, what I also ended up doing, because I made, I think I made five of them, so I ended up having an extra couple uh, rounds. So in order to make the 40 stumpy sparks, what it ended up doing is since these guys are more efficient, I popped in two of the crafty spark guys into here and it's making these a heck of a lot quicker. Oh boy. All right, on that note, let's go ahead and shove those in there to get them out of our inventory and let's get back into town. And one thing I did uh, miss was the spark combat. I have killed seven of these dudes. Uh, as I was out about gathering. You didn't see it, but hey, you saw me kill those things before, so I didn't need to show you. There's the little bunny rabbit dudes. All right, let's just work our way around and start with the quartermaster. She wants 20 wood panels. She wants 40 sawn timber. Bam, away we go. She nods in approval and hands you several detailed blueprints ready to be used. Her lips curl into a satisfied and proud smile. She really likes to uh, 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 elaborate on her uh, smiling. She smiles a lot. Huh. They're very good at following instructions, too good. With the crossing and the splitter, they sometimes block each other. Maybe they just need more instruction. So here we go, we got a signpost, a crate, which is the crate is the upgraded barrel, the crossing and the splitter. So now we can have rows going across and or I can move my stuff back over again and have them where they actually split out uh, and, and can, you know, go half seas or third seas uh, on each direction to get a little bit more efficient. And we got the signpost, we can actually put what we have in each shed. Excellent. Huh? I have some ideas. You're gonna want me to build two signs, transport 80 wooden logs, and transport 40 timber. Well, that's gonna be good. This is already going on, so all we gotta really do is build two signs, and that's gonna get us an item filter and a blocker. Perfection. Let's head over to the, uh, does the woodsmith dude want anything? He does not. I know the merchant does. That was the, uh, the kill the bunny rabbit dudes. Uh, okay, crafty spark. There's my crafty spark. Uh, he wants 40 stumpy sparks, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 40 wooden, no, not wooden panels, uh, timber, but the uh, wooden panels. There we go. What you got to say, old man? He's going to give us the, uh, crafty, sp 10 crafty sparks and a crafty spark workbench. Hell yeah. Yes, this is very simple. Oh, ho, ho, ho. chance truly favors the prepared mind. Let me show you that setting it up will be as easy as rolling off a log. Hell yeah, my dude. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the other shrine you found, an etheric distiller? That's incredible. Tell me everything. 
You describe in detail the etheric distiller as the divine researcher furiously takes notes of your findings. His eyes narrow in thought. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's similar to existing ether, uh, aether cla cla I can't word! Aether cla I'm so excited about this! Aether clarification processes, but combines the initial disassembly and... Ah, oh, this is genius! We must try making one. All right, he wants me to get 40 aether shards for him. Not a big deal at all. After another round of questioning regarding the finer details of the etheric distiller, the divine researcher puts down his pen and grins. Uh -huh. This is revolutionary. You should let it run for a while, and after you can tell me all about it. Perfection, dude, perfection. All right, now we need to go down to the uh, merchant. And uh, no, he just wanted us to do it. He didn't need anything. Bam, complete. Oh. In one hit, you say? Aha, that's much better than I had expected. They looked so cute, I thought they wouldn't be able to do much. Here, a little something for your time. He's given us ten aether shards? Hell yeah, my dude. Oh. Okay, okay, let's just skip the forest, Spunnies. Do you think your sparks can hunt a bee elephant? Mm -hmm. I've heard that there's only the docile type in the woodlands near the village, so they shouldn't be too dangerous. All right, so we got to kill one of the bee elephants, not just find the car carcasses. Mm. You should take as many sparks as you can with you. I'm pretty sure the bee elephant will need more than just one hit, and I've seen that trunk break bones. Mm. Don't get yourself hurt, all right? Or the mayor is going to give me an earful. All right, so we got to go attack a bee elephant, and then we're going to go up to here, and we've got... Uh, what do we have? What do we have? We don't have anything to put in here. I figured we had a wood panel that we had to put in, but did we already do something with a wood panel? Surely not. Ha! Huh, really? Nothing required a wood panel. Okay, all right. Um, are we good in town? It looks like everyone's just question marks. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to tackle first? Uh, this we could go do. We just need to make a whole bunch more of our little sparky dudes. Uh, I'm thinking taking 40 with us uh, is going to be more than enough. Uh, this dude does hurt quite a bit. And mainly, he, like, knocks your guys stunned, and then he turns around and whaps them. Okay, so we just need 40 Aether Shards. We have that already. Uh, we just need to go build two signs, which we can do that quickly. And then we'll just wait for these to go. All right, uh, I'm going to head back to base and uh, get myself prepared with more of these little uh, stumpy sparks. Okay, but before we do that, let's go ahead and just make our signs. So, uh, B, what do these take? These take both the wood panels and uh, timber. So let's go ahead and grab out. You know, and I noticed after we turned in those quests, it let us keep a crap ton of this. And as you can see, I'm getting a pretty good amount set up. So uh, B, and then we're going to go to signs, and we need to rotate these around. We're just going to place one in front of every one of these. And there's not text on these. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's just placing an item there. So what we're going to need to do next, and it does use up the item. Uh, what is this? This is the uh, sawn timber. So now we can go, boop, place that in there. And look at that. We got a little picture of a wood, uh, wood, uh, wood, wooden, uh, wood, what are these called? Wooden panels and the sawn timber there, making it so much easier for us to be able to see what is actually going on in here, which is pretty damn dope. Okay. And then I have bee carapaces here. Uh, be elephant care. No, would you, would you I, click on the sign? Thank you very much. All right. Can I just, oh, you can, you can just, oh, that's dope. That's just dope. Up, down, whoa, what did I do with those? What did I, did those fall? They're right here. Can I just literally do that? Can I, oh, I can't do it to the sign though. Interesting. So, okay. Let me put this in the sign and then I just did this. Oh no, it did drop it. Okay. 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 I thought, I thought we were getting some cool mo stuff and it was gonna actually just like place it uh in the thing for us that would have that would have been pretty darn epic okay there's all of that stuff oh my god so much of this to do oh this is gonna waste this one of these this thing requires a machine called a cutter which we do not currently have uh, and this is the uh, little pc parts which we don't have any of at the time being bam bam oh i love organization organization is so so much freaking fun. Uh, the, you know, the OCD, uh, ADHD, freaking, it's one of my favorite things to do in any video game is just organize the crap. I am always the chest organizer in any game that I ever play with anyone. All right, and bam, big low, bam, bam, look at that. All right, we got all that stuff done. 
So now I think we have enough of these little dudes. Uh, what we need to do is find a birch foresty area, which there's one right up around the corner. And let's go take on a bee elephant. These guys are pretty tough. Maybe we can do a rush in thing and see how that works. We've got 20 of these guys on us as well. Hello, any? Oh, here's one right here. Okay, let's uh, let's do this and go rush. Oh, see right here and watch. Bam! You see they're all stunned, and so now I'm just gonna sit here in my tab and see. Bam! I mean, he instantly one shots those guys, so we can refill and then just send the next uh, charge in. Oh, look at that! We did it. That was no contest. We actually only lost three of these guys. Not bad at all. And see, there you go. That's where we got the etheric clumps from. Look at that. We are pretty freaking dope. So that is uh, this one ready to be turned in. This one ready to be turned in. So we need 160 sawn timber and 80 wooden panels. And I've got the 40 shards. So I'm just going to wait until we get all of... <laughs> they've killed these bunnies. I'm just going to wait until we get all the sawn timber. And we'll go uh, turn all these quests in at one time. Okay, we headed into town because I realized it says craft aether shards. So you're going to notice uh, that this is going to tick up. So what we need to do is we know, need to go kill a bunch of bee elephants to get the little uh, pellets. So that way we can put them in the uh, the etheric distiller and have them craft for us. So that was just kind of kind of be going on in the background. But what we do have is we can go talk to the quartermaster, the merchant, and I think the divine researcher. Uh, here we go. Complete. Hmm. Ah, the item filter will be very helpful. Use it, okay? All right, so we get a filter and a blocker. Uh, let's see what those do. B, uh, right here. Uh, so the blocker, if placed on a path, this path add-on can be activated and deactivated to block that path. So we can use this as a way to say, hey, stop coming this direction for a little while until we really need you. And then the filter, placed on a path, sparks can only pass this sign if the item they are carrying matches the item on the sign. So this is a way that we can have like a whole bunch of different items going down a path and then saying, you can only go this way if you have this item. So that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, whoop, I don't need this up. Can I please uh, can cancel that out? Escape, thanks. Okay. Uh, do we have anything for the woodsmith? We do not. Oh, man, we're kicking some boot. Hey, all right. Uh, we need 40. Oh, pfft, that's right. We're having to craft those. So that guy's not done yet whatsoever. Let's go talk to the merchant. Bam. The merchant stares at you in disbelief as you recount your efforts to take down the bee elephant. Their eyes flicker left and right as they try to mentally connect things and finally they look at you. Mm. I need to talk to the mayor about this. I don't think you or anyone else in this village actually understands what this means and how this will look to others. You've made something that can manufacture an army. It's because I'm fucking from America, baby. Hmm... <laughs> A little too much. There's the saving grace that they're not particularly capable, but in the wrong hands, they're already capable enough. I'll have to take care of this. You can go. I have a lot of letters to write. What is he, part of NATO? <laughs> they write letters. Oh, hey, he gave us he gave us 12 of these, which is great, because we can go use these in order to make this. Perfect. Okay, so we need to drop uh, 160 sawn timber off at here. Good, I bought enough. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. And let's talk to her. Ah. You're such a hard worker, dearie. Thank you so much. We'll put this to good use and fix up a few things around the village. Hell yeah, tier two expansion. Oh. Uh, hello, dearie. I've heard that you've started exploring closer and closer to the mountains. I know I've said it before, but please do be careful out there. Ah. Anyway, what it means is we should make sure that we have some who can help you take care of stone and other such things and what that means is that we should build some stone working facilities okay so i need to get 160 wooden panels 80 tree bark which can't get that yet and 40 stone except in pin it's quite a lot of things so no need to rush yourself it's good to take breaks all right uh and we've got a whole bunch more missions going on here now holy crap that unlocked a bunch 
Mm -hmm. I've tasked a woodsman to come up with something for the sparks to assemble. I was hoping that maybe we can give your sparks a wooden blade and maybe they could cook something. But of course, most of them don't even have arms. Very frustrating. Ooh. However, I've seen that workstation that the woodsmith built. It doesn't exude finesse, but certainly we can make something out of this. Let me show you my blueprints. All right, so he needs 20 wooden blades, and he's going to get us fertilizer and the cutter, mm -hmm. which will be great. Wonderful. Let's see what those Spocks are capable of, eh? All right, okay, that's him done. Oh, so many quests. So, so many quests. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, come here. <laughs> I was really excited for this guy. <laughs> I finally found... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, oh, I need to take a nap. All right, I finally found some of my old research notes. Unfortunately, they're not very readable. For some strange reason, there are some footprints on them, but that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So from what I can gather, there are three shrines out there left in the woodlands. One with a bean-looking statue, a bowl-looking statue, and a knife-looking statue. So that means three new sparks for you to find and for me to replicate. <laughs> oh, some of the notes are a little mixed up, so I think it's best if you can give me the materials for all three, and then I'll research them all at once. Good things come in threes, you know? I thought it was pairs. Good things come in pairs. All right, so we got to get him a carry spark, choppy spark, loomy spark, crafty spark, wooden blade, and fertilizer. It's going to be a while before we finish this one. You know, it's funny. One of my old inventions was a bean bowl knife. It contained a meal and all the utensils you needed to eat it all in one package. Just too far ahead of its time, I suppose. What a weird little dude. What a weird, weird little dude. All right. Mm -hmm. So the merchant was bothering me about getting your sparks to make something useful instead of just raw materials like the saw timber and wooden panel. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that we needed a new building if they need to actually assemble something. The saw bench won't cut it this time. <laughs> uh, get it? Get it? Because it's a saw bench it cuts? <laughs> All right, so we need 40 wooden panels for this dude, and he'll give us uh, a, a workshop, which is pretty cool. The merchant said that the pun wasn't very good, but I think they secretly liked it. Okay, now on to the quarter, master. Master, master. Huh? I have some more ideas. I think they will be very useful. All right, so we need to build two item filters and then transport 60 sawn timber and 40 wood panels. So basically, we just need to go build the uh, item filters. All right, is that everybody in this area? That is a whole shit ton of quests. Good Lord. Hey, speaking of which, what's down this direction? We might as well go this way and check out... Oh, excuse me. What else we have in here? Uh, we have nothing that we can do there yet. But I do want to check out what's down here. Okay, blocked gate and some random building that might have some future NPC at it. Interesting. All right, so let's look at our quest. Oh my God, I just have to yawn. Uh, oh, I need a nap. Okay, uh, let's see. So we can do this one real quickly. That's easy enough. Just build two item filters. We don't have to actually utilize them. We can delete them right afterwards. Uh, 40 wooden panels. We're going to go ahead and pin that one. Uh, wait, pin that one. Thank you. Uh, so 40 wooden panels. Not going to do that one anytime soon. Uh, we have to do this one before we can do that one. Uh, we don't have tree bark yet because we have to do, I think, the one after this one. And we're kind of waiting on that one. We just need to go input stuff into it. All right, so I need to get, need to get the 40 wooden panels and uh, go build two item filters. All right, I'll meet you back at base. Okay, since we's out here, we might as well go over here and stick our uh, little pellets in here so we can continue crafting these bad boys up. Uh, you know what I need to do? I need to build a little um, boop thing like this. And, oh, we don't have... What did this need? The barrel needed logs. Let's go ahead and... Hello, can I Can I have my... There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two three, four, five. Let's just toss all those dudes out there. Bring me the logs. Give them to me, my minions. Okay, bam. And then we can do that action. And then we can stick... A couple guys over there. There we go. Because uh, it's it's clogging itself up. It's not able to uh, output. Once it gets to 36 Aether Shards, since it's six at a time, it can only be a stack of 40, so it won't do it. So I need these guys to take these out of here for me, which is nice. All right, okay, so that's going. 
And that means that's also counting down on our little etheric shard, a majigger, a bobber, a doohicker. Um, what did we need next? It said I needed 40 wood panels and I need to make two item filters. So what do the item filters cost? Uh, item filters are just uh, logs and we can build both of them. So let's go B, bam. Do I even... Oh, I need to place them on the path. So we'll just do that real fast. Boom, that is done. And now I need to get rid of these. So I'm just going to do this. Bam, bam. We'll deal with those later. I don't need them right now. I just need to complete the quest. So we'll, we'll utilize those in a factory later. And then we needed 40 wooden panels, which we go bam, bam. Nailed it, aced it. Can't be stopped. I am Slip Gator of the Slip Gators. I wish. He was one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. I have not watched him in forever, and I don't know why. Okay. All right. Plug, uh, shout out to Slip Gator for, for being an inspiration for me wanting to do YouTube. Okay. And bam, bam. Uh, let's see. Did we finish that one? We did. Look, it's complete right here. Sp uh, village tier expansion, spark combat. Where was crafting the crafties? No. Where the, where the hell did the, Oh, distilling aether. It's right here. Bam, right there. 40 done. Coo beans. So we can go turn in three quests to get man we are kicking these quests booty holes all right at the quartermaster okay so complete yeah. finally we can figure out how many sparks should go on a path tile so we can count how many sparks can go across and this is a one way so what do these mean so let's see uh counter if placed on a path this path add-on counts the items passing by from one direction wonder what this is going to be useful for right now I don't, I don't know what this is useful for in our current situation, but there seems like there's some logic behind this. You know what I mean? Like, is in a go 10 this way and then go 10 the other way, maybe some sort of, you know, some sort of thing like that. And then one way, if placed on a path, sparks could only pass this sign in one specific direction. So this might be useful for keeping them from doing circles, rotating around, just saying, hey, you go out and then you're going to go, uh, you know, off a path and then eventually come back or something. I'm sure we'll utilize this uh, at some point. Oh. The stumpy spark reminded me of my little brother. He used to follow me around, stuck to me like a spark. He's a rancher now. <laughs> Let's make a spark pen, like an animal pen, but for sparks. <laughs> okay, so she wants 120 timber and 40 panels. Got it. Okay, <laughs> that's a little, little interesting. Um, Do you have anything I need to do? Uh, Yeah, right here. 40 wood panels. Bam, bam. Complete. Perfect. For now, this wood workshop can only make some wooden blade. Not good for much other than training and household uses, but it's a start. <laughs> if the merchant complains about wanting something more useful, well, they can figure that out for themselves. Ha <laughs> ha. He doesn't really like the merchant either. Good. All right, so now we can make the wooden blades. Mm -hmm. I've had a thought. If the sparks can assemble items, maybe we can get them to refine something more challenging. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'm not barking up the wrong tree. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, barking up the oh my god this guy's punny all right so we need 20 loomy sparks and 20 blades that's not gonna happen for a while i just thought of that one on the spot it would probably get an eye roll from the merchant yeah i'm sure it would dude all right so that's that uh we can do that one next uh and we can do this one after we get the 20 blades uh, so, uh, who do we need to go talk to for this? The divine researcher. So basically we need to go gather a bunch of, uh, stuff real fast, give it to the woodsmith again, and then also make a setup to make the wooden blades. Uh, do I need to actually give them to you? Doesn't look like I need to. Complete. The divine researcher writes down what you've described as you let the distiller run. Suddenly an almost maniacal laugh erupts from him. <laughs> It's so simple. It practically defies explanation. We won't even need those ancient bases. You can place this distiller anywhere. Try it out. Something this important requires peer review. All right. So now we can build a theory of distillers anywhere we want. That's freaking dope. That's excellent. All right. And we have nothing that we need to turn into the uh, village monument. So let's see, what do we what do we want to do? This is going to be the last couple quests we do for the day. Uh, can't do that one. So 120 sawn timber and 40 wooden panels. Let's go ahead and pin that one. And um, we need to set up a system to make wooden blades. All right. So I'm going to go set up a system to make wooden blades. And then once we get the 20 wooden blades, we'll come back with everything. Okay, we're back for a little bit of uh, update. So we've got ourselves set up with our typical logger, and then I've just set up a splitter here, and I just now thought of this idea that I'm gonna show you in a second, but we've got a splitter here, 
So we've got half of the guys going over to this one saw bench just making the uh, sawn timber. And then the other half of them are going over to these four sawmills making more sawn timber, but exclusively to go make the uh, wooden panels like we saw before. And then these are going into the workbench, which is the building that's got the little hammer. This thing looks so freaking cool. And so this requires one sawn timber and two wooden panels, which is why I've got this set up here because it's a two to one ratio coming out there. Uh, once we make it a little bit more efficient and then bam, there we go. We've got some wooden saw blades. And so as I was thinking, uh, what can we do to make it to where there's way more guys going over here and look at, I started thinking, my satisfactory brain got to thinking. So we've got the splitter, right? If we split them into three ways, watch this. As they all come back, we've got one goes left, one goes right. Look at that. We get four going this way, two going that way. That's almost perfect. It's not quite exactly the amount that I would like to have, but that's pretty darn perfect. Like maybe what we could do is we could do... Let's see, let's see, let's see if we can add, like, if we add another one of these in here and then do um, another one way like this and then do a uh, another uh, splitterino right here like this. How is this going to work? We've got one guy now going up this way. Does that work? Because every other time he's going to go this way. That might actually not be bad. Ooh. I wonder. I wonder. You know what? I'm going to try this little setup out right here. If I have space, I can make this work. I can make this work. All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna build that. Let's see how it works. Okay. Let's see how well this works. I'm not sure. I, I had to make it a little bit smaller. I also had to move everything forward so we could fit this in. But... I mean, it looks like we've got a whole lot more dudes going to the left side than the right side. I mean, look at that. How freaking excellent is that? Oh, we utilized some of the new components. Oh, that's so freaking cool. We basically use the splitters of mergers from Satisfactory to our advantage here. And uh, you'll notice what I did here, too. I added the little splitter here so that way... Half of them go this direction, half of them go that way, just to make sure that all of these get filled. Look at this go! How freaking cool! Look at us doing some splitting and merging and using math. Oh, that's going to be so much more productive. Uh, but this is now going to take a while. So let's see, what was our quest again? Uh, we need 120 timber, 40 wood panels, that's no big deal. Uh, and the other one was 20 wooden blades. So that's what we have on us. We have 13, so we need seven more. So after seven more, we'll grab the rest of the material. We'll go back to base, and that's going to be our village, and that'll be the end of the episode. But yeah, look at us go. Look at all of our massive production. So before we head into town, I just noticed one other kind of benefit of this. So I, I was worried about putting too many guys down. There's currently 18 guys sitting on this track right here, and I was worried about them getting congested up. But the fact that they walk on the right side all the time means that all of these guys going up through here are going to come back this direction and they're going to never hit these guys going forward and or left. So the only chance you have is when one comes back here, you may get that guy being blocked right there. And then you've got these guys are going to come over here and they're not going to come back this way. They're going to come back this way and they'll do kind of the same thing. So for the very most part, you're going to have right here, there might be a little congestion with these guys. Might be a little right here, but otherwise, they're not. So I've got 18 guys sitting there, and they are doing a freaking excellent job of just hoofing away. I mean, we are look at this. We are just making the crap out of these swords right now. Excellent. All right, I've got all the stuff and things on us. Let's head back into a town. Okay, first thing we gotta go do is put this sword down in the village monument because we have got to make some technological upgrades. All right, uh, right here, sword, bam, there we go, nailed it. This is gonna unlock fast travel to range two. Oh boy, and now we're back to having nothing that we can do. Uh, did, was it the merchant that wanted these? Who wanted what? Uh, you know what, let's go up and do the uh, woodsmith because he has the bark harvesting. Bark. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, nope, I gotta put it in here. Sorry, my bad, dude. Nope, I can't do that. That's Lumi Sparks. That is not the quest that we wanted. Uh, spark pen right here. Pin the quest. This is the quartermaster. The cult master. And do we need to put stuff in here for you? Boom, 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 boom. Let me hear you say way oh, way oh. All right, uh, bam. Yeah. It works. Doesn't hold a lot, but still, it's nice. Have fun with it. All right, so we got a spark pen. I don't know how much we're going to actually use this because we have storage for them right now, but eh, you know, we'll play around, put some down. Okay, uh, you wanted 20 blades. That is not what you wanted. You wanted 20 blades. There we go. Complete. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Many farmers need fertilizer and we'll be able to supply them at a cost. This will save a lot of time and hopefully allow them to grow more food cheaply. A beneficial outcome for everyone involved. All right, so we got the cutter and some fertilizer. And he's got a new quest. Mm. The divine researcher has told me that you need aether shards to make sparks. I do happen to know what sometimes you get, uh, that sometimes you get these etheric clumps that you can't do much with. <laughs> but perhaps we can change that. I think we can use that cutter we've built. All right, so we need to get three etheric clumps delivered to him, and he's going to then be able to let us take the etheric clumps and turn them into etheric pellets, which then we can use the distillation to then make the, uh, the sparks. All right, so I think that is pretty much everybody on the map right now, and I think that's probably going to be a pretty safe place to go ahead and call it. Good Lord, we've got a lot accomplished already. What is my quest line? Look at that. We have completed 25 quests. That is nutter butters. That is not including the three tutorials, so technically 28. That's pretty wild. Next episode, we're going to get the cutter going on. We're going to get some bark being made. Uh, and then we're going to expand our village once more. Whew, and hopefully, maybe then we'll get into rocks. I was hoping we get into rocks today, but you know what? We're still making some pretty darn steady progress. Look at this. Here's our, our tech tree. We're pretty much close to being done with tier three. We got all the way done with tier two today. That's pretty freaking awesome. I dig it. I like it. And look at our little look at our little base. I love how these games always show you like where all your machines are. <laughs> we definitely made some expansion. This is like all we had the other day, and now we've got all of this going up here. So all right. I, in between episodes, I'm just going to gather a bunch of stuff up just like I did before this episode. And the next episode, I hope we get to rocks. But on that note, I hope you guys have enjoyed as much as I am freaking just having a blast playing this game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment. Definitely comment about any efficiencies, tips and tricks, all that stuff and things. And don't forget to share with the automation and the world universes. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta for now. Bye!